There's nothing better than walking up to an ATM machine and getting a cupcake. Yes, you put your money into this machine and a cupcake comes out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and we all pretend like somebody freshly made it in the back. Yes. <laughs> like, Ooh, don't order two. I only have enough for one batch. <laughs> Hi, friends. Welcome to Happy Adorning. Today we are featuring Lindsay Hollister, who is a friend of mine. She is an actress and an entrepreneur. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Woo! So you are an owner of The Pie Hole, which is a huge pie shop here in Los Angeles. Everybody loves it so much. Tell us a little bit about it. We, um, my now husband, uh, when we started The Pie Hole, he was a boyfriend. Yes. So now we've progressed. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so about five years ago, he uh, was like, I want to work for myself. Yeah. And I want to bring my mother's dream of owning a pie shop um, sure. to fruition. And I was, of course I was so supportive and was promptly like, you're crazy. <laughs> and, uh, when we opened the doors, it was, uh, we just passed our fourth birthday. So it was October of 2011. And then oh, congratulations. I didn't you. even know. Yeah. That's we're four exciting. years old. It's the <laughs> only time I don't mind getting older with business. Oh yeah. Right. Exactly. Great. Yeah. You're like, you're like, yay. Um, <laughs> and within last year, last spring, we opened up our second location in Pasadena. And then we are, we just signed the lease. Uh, you don't even know this. I don't think on uh, Hollywood and Vine, oh, which will be our wow. Hollywood. Yeah, we're really excited. For those of you who don't live in Los Angeles or perhaps have never been to Los Angeles, Hollywood and Vine is a incredibly well-trafficked area. It yes. is the very busy. Walk of Fame, the stars, yes. you know, that's all you need to know. So let's talk about acting because that's originally why you moved to the Los Angeles, correct? To the Los Angeles. To the Los Angeles, the city of angels. Um, yeah, why acting? I was always made fun of from a young age because of my weight. Kids are mean. Oh, kids are the worst. So I, you know, I mean, as young as like six, I remember being made fun of. And, um, you know, obviously that does something to your self-worth. Absolutely. And I think that we're, you know, seeing that even more now with the bullying. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a cornfield in Ohio, and if you were different in any way, you were mm -hmm. tortured. So, when I got to high school, I knew I really wanted to do theater. Like, there was a calling for that. Like, it was interesting, because you know how you pick out your courses and stuff? And the, our, the, it was an amazing program, too, actually. And so she picked this play, and we got to read it. The class got to read it, and I volunteered to read. And it was, of course, the character role. She was chubby. <laughs> I was chubby. And it was, like, from that moment, and I ended up, I was cast in the show. And I made my the peers and the people who had made fun of me, um, I made them laugh. And that was like such a turning point. Mm -hmm. Like, doesn't mean I didn't still get made fun of, because I did. But the, it changed a little because it was like, oh, Hollister's funny. But so yeah, so, there, so that became my thing. I went to college, I, I majored in theater. I never looked back. And I, I was able to really see the, the biggest key in my life of why I pursued what I wanted to do was because my parents never planted a seed of doubt. And that's so yeah. rare. I'm sure they were both like crapping their pants. <laughs> like, our daughter's overweight and she wants to move to Los Angeles, you know, and this is back in like the late nineties when we didn't have Melissa McCarthy and we didn't mm -hmm. have Rebel Wilson. Like they're doing things that plus size actresses never thought they could right. do 10 years ago. Right. You know. So can you tell us about any projects that you've done recently or that may be coming up for you? A fun project came along, um, Pee Wee Herman. We grew up with like Pee Wee's Playhouse. You did oh, grow up with, did you grow up with him? Absolutely. He spanned a long time though. How young do you think I am? I know how young you are. So um, he, they're doing another one and um, it's going to be the first, like one of the first um, Netflix exclusive films. Fun. So like Judd Apatow produced it, which is pretty rad. If you know Judd Apatow, yeah, he did, I mean, name any comedy that's been a hit yes. in the last 10 or five years. And so that will be in March, I believe. It's okay, so that's come. soon. That's exciting. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm very lucky that I'm able to 
you know, still do what I love and still and have the pie hole and run a business. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you in terms of balancing auditioning, preparing for auditions, all driving around Los Angeles takes forever, plus running a business. I mean, that's It's been a difficult. Lot. I mean, only, and I think it's only because I haven't managed myself enough. Like I have a hard time, the, the business is all consuming and we work very hard and we're very hands-on. We're very active in everything. Um, so when a, a, an audition comes along, I haven't worked on some of them as much depending on like the work schedule and I can see the difference in like when I go in. <laughs> so the last couple of times, I, Matt, and my husband's very supportive of it too. He was like, do not work today. You just, you know, the day of it's like wake up, concentrate, run it, um, take time, get in the car. You know, like you said, you're getting to places, finding parking. Right. Um, and so when I've done that, I've auditioned better. So I have to just take off the business hat and put it aside. Yeah, I mean, you have to balance your priorities. You have to figure out what's the most important and then, you know, go make a list and go from there. Yeah. You can't always get to everything. Some things have to wait. It's just a matter of finding balance in your life, which can be really difficult. Yeah. It's such a process to find balance. This might have to be a two-parter. Intermission. We could talk forever. <laughs> I know, right? So women in your life, who do you have anybody that's you would say is your biggest influence? Oh yeah, my mom, for sure. I definitely could turn to her for, you know, for anything, you yeah. know, like, and she doesn't judge me. Sure. Like that one person that you can like, you know, kick in the jaw and then they're like, uh, it's okay, honey, I'm here, you know? So just especially with being an artist and having her say, you know, like I hit tough times in the industry and she goes, do you remember, this is mom, do you remember when you wrote a paper in like 12th grade in high school? I kept this paper that said, I'm going to move to Los Angeles and be an actor and never, never, ever, ever give up. And like, that was my answer. Wow. Yeah. So she goes, you can't give up, Lindsay, because even back then you said you wouldn't give up, you know? And you don't get that from every parent. No. So last question. Uh, any advice, I mean, you've already given some great advice, but any other advice that you might want to give uh, young girls who are wanting to be an actress or be an entrepreneur? When I was in college, um, my senior year, this uh, successful alumni had come back to, to talk to us. And, you know, he lived in LA and I was like, oh, I was gonna ask him like 100 questions. But the one thing that he said was, right now in this moment, if you can think of anything else, that you would do in your life that would make you happy, get out of acting now. Oh. Like that's how much you have to want it. Right. And that's what will keep me going with acting is there's like, there's nothing else I've ever wanted and that I ever think that I could be really good at doing. And that carried with me. And I, and that's what I now still say that to um, young people as I'm mentoring them. Cause I see a lot of people come out here and they think it's gonna be quick and they think it's gonna be easy. And yeah. it's really not. It's so not. Okay, well yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank and you for having me and thank you for listening if you made it this far. <laughs> oh, they did. Of course you did, this is awesome. Yeah, go follow the pie hole, subscribe to our channel at Happy Adorning. See you later, bye. bye.